if you're you're joining us on YouTube, we are in we 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 we're we're in the countdown to Scott Adams saying the N word is where we are right now. Has he not yet? Not yet. You know it's bad when even even Ben Garrison is making fun of him. Right? Did you see that? Even that fucking Fruit Loop is making fun of him. If you didn't catch this at home, I don't know how you missed this this week. Scott Adams finally decided to do something stupid and put some of his idiocy on video. Um, and he was uh, on a live stream. He said that uh, white people should uh, get the hell away from back. For, quote, get the hell away from black people. Just get the f Nine. away. End quote. And, and there's black people are a hate group. And back, yeah, black people are a hate group, which, um... But he's not racist because he likes his next-door neighbor who's black. So, in, in, in case you, uh... The whole thing is just going... He lost a bunch of newspapers and then his syndication and then just... Everybody's like, thanks, but no. So the people who got away from him was everybody else. Which I guess would include black people, so... He's getting what he... This is like a monkey's paw situation. He's getting his wish. Like, that's that's what I keep thinking. I'm like, how long has Dilbert been running? Like, how funny could it still have been? How funny was it ever? Yeah. I mean, the entire premise of Dilbert is everybody's stupid but Dilbert. Yeah. Which is very funny for a certain type of person. But that type of person is not someone that you, you want to be around a whole bunch. Anybody who thinks everybody is stupid but them... Probably not the funnest person you know. Probably not. All right. Well, we have more stuff I, this week. I, I, let me just get the intro going and we'll talk about it. Because we inadvertently, we got a, we got a theme week on accident. I don't know how this happened. So, by the way, fun fact. Oh, what? what let's go ahead. No, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. When you start having to wear wigs, right? The way you know your wig is straight is there's like big, there's little tabs that go in front of your ears, uh -huh. which is fine until you also have to put a headphone around that ear and then glasses on that ear. Like it, it gets a little complicated. <laughs> so if the glasses are crooked, that's why. All right, let's go. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out the worldwide interwebs. Find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck's Wrong? And this week, we ended up, I, I guess the theme is is Department of Transportation. All this planes, trains, oh, no. and automobiles. Because everything this week, everything. I don't know how it happened, but let's start in Georgia. I, I'm just... I have no good lead in for this. We're just going to jump on into it. Georgia woman drives SUV into Popeyes over missing biscuits, police say. And buttermilk biscuits. <laughs> um, hang on, my page. There it is. There it is. Uh, a Georgia woman has been arrested after police say she purposely crashed her vehicle into an Augusta Popeyes over missing biscuits. I mean, I do like carbs. <laughs> Booking information from the Richmond County Sheriff's Office shows 50-year-old Belinda Miller was charged with first-degree criminal damage to property, property and aggravated assault. Authorities say just after 745 Saturday night, deputies were called to the fast food restaurant uh, after report of accidents with injuries. You know, people jumped out of the way. A uh, manager reportedly told police Miller became mad when she saw that she didn't have any bis biscuits with her order and drove her SUV into one of the restaurant's entrances. Pretty WJBF. This, this kind of confuses me. The manager said they fixed the mistake. Now, was this before or after she drove the SUV into the Popeyes? Yeah. Because if it was after... That means they were then sort of you do it. They were sort of running out like, here, take the biscuits. Take the fucking biscuits. But if it was before, why did you do it? Yeah. 
The arrest warrant says Bill. I mean, if it was, but if it was before, then that means they fixed it, and then she went to her car and drove it, and yeah. was still mad enough to drive through the building. Um, she kept driving around the building until she was stopped by debris. After fleeing the scene, police say they found her vehicle with front end damage at her home. See, that's the thing. Aside from being, you know, relatively well adjusted. The thing that would stop me from doing this sort of thing is I am not going to fuck up my car yeah. to prove a point. That's... You know, I mean, on the other hand, I have so many times gone into a place and gone back and I get to my car and I realized I forgot something or they fucked up my order. And I am exactly the kind of lazy asshole that's like, fuck it. I already buckled my seatbelt. We do that, too. <laughs> we, we, I do that, too. I buckled my seatbelt. I've plugged in my phone. Like, fuck it. Am I going to walk the whole 50 feet back in there? Just. No. Not. Fuck it. But I'm also not going to drive my ass through the front of the building. Like, like she, you know, like front end damage. She got goddamn chicken bones in her radiator for fuck's sake. And your insurance is not going to cover that. They do not. They're just, you're, you're fucked. You're, that car is fucked. Goodbye car. When you call J. Jonah Jameson at Farmers and explain to him <laughs> that you drove your ass through the front of Popeyes, he's going to be like, yeah, we have seen that before, but we did not cover it. You dumb shit. I, I could. I. I you get grumpy. But even that. I, I guess maybe it's because I've service work before. I could get grumpy, but I just don't take it out on the people because I know it's not where I thoroughly I thoroughly get hangry. Yeah. Not enough to draw, and then just to circle the building like a fucking shark, <laughs> like that Stephen What's the plan there, like fucking Maximum Overdrive from Stephen King, just circling. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Well, I got my biscuits, but you're gonna remember me. She needed to have a Snickers about half an hour before her trip to Popeyes. I think fifty years old. Uh, you could, I'm not even that yet. You couldn't pay me. No. Well, maybe. I get in the car. I'm done. Maybe you can give me a new car, but. Ah, uh, we got a different kind of drive in experience on this next one, which kind of the other end of the scale, I would say. Uh, this is from, where is it? Chaska, Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota, eh? car gets so pissed when I do that. Oh, don't you know? Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Oh, golly. Oof, that. Uh, does, does he not know that he has that accent? He does. Okay. Chaska, Minnesota. Police say an extremely drunk motorist fell asleep while ordering from an Arby's drive through <laughs> According to police, officers responded to an Arby's at around 1 p.m. Friday at the report of an unresponsive driver they were found to be a 43-year-old man and the only occupant of the vehicle. Luckily, an observant patron noticed this and was able to open the driver's door and shift the vehicle to park, likely preventing damage to property and injury to others. Police said he was the man was too drunk at one in the afternoon. Too drunk to do a standardized field sobriety test. So a search warrant was ex executed to get a blood sample. During that process, the man allegedly admitted to drinking wine earlier. Did you drink the whole barrel? Yeah. Becoming extremely drunk and then driving to get curly fries is an incredibly selfish decision. Thankfully, the man was not driving at higher speeds in the city streets. He'll be charged accordingly, Lee said. Barbies is on DoorDash, bro. I know this because I fucking love curly fries. They'll just bring them to you. The love of God. And I love that they, someone had to open the door and put his car into park because the only thing keeping that thing from going was his foot slipping off the brake. That would have been bad. What? 1 p.m. on a Friday. What is your life like, sir? That you are wine drunk. Like, I have been fucked up drunk at 1 p.m. But it was because of Sunday brunch. Uh, the... 
because they do bottomless mimosas. Or I went to this one place once that did sangritas, which was frozen margarita mixed with sangria. I had like six. Fucked up at one in the afternoon. But on a Friday? I have been fucked up at 1 p.m. on a Friday because I was fucked up the night before at the convention and I only just woke the fuck up. See, I've never, I've never had that happen because I learned early on that if I fall asleep drunk, that's when I vomit. Oh, yeah. So if I can stay awake until I'm sober, I don't get sick. But if I fall asleep still drunk, I wake up and vomit. So I never have that because I will force myself to stay awake. I just, you might love the curly fries. I cannot imagine how drunk you would have to be to want to go to Arby's. But those curly fries are good, dude. Okay, but. They're so good. Okay, but. And like, and like the turkey, the turkey bacon ranch sandwich is also legit. For me, Arby's... I don't even like French dressing, but that sandwich is legit. Arby's has always been like, well, the McDonald's is too crowded. I ain't going to Chick-fil-A. So I guess I'm going to Arby's. Well, Arby's is a thing here, too. I think they started in Denver, because all the Arby's here still have the giant three-story sign that looks like a cowboy hat. Which I never understood, but okay. Um, so there's actually, it's easier to find an Arby's here than it is a McDonald's. I have never heard of so drunk you could not admit, administer the sobriety test. That is, f what, how like, much? That means his ass couldn't even stand up. Like the, the whole, the whole cask of Amontialdo. The whole cask. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's, let's get off the ground for the next one, unfortunately. Uh-oh. We're back on a plane. Fucking God help us. Yes, this shit is still happening. This is like the 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 leftover from the pandemic that won't go away. Is people being just the uptick of people being shit on planes. American Airlines passenger forced the flight to make an emergency landing after she charged the cockpit when she couldn't get a drink. We passed your board at Air American Airlines fight, forced an emergency landing this week. Um, allegedly charged the cockpit after she couldn't get a cocktail. Flight 340, 3444, flying from Jacksonville, Florida to Washington, D.C., was diverted to uh, Raleigh Durham International as a result of the passenger disturbance. Uh, and radio transmissions from Raleigh Durham Airport Authority Police. Officers can be heard saying that a passenger of the flight tried to breach the cockpit and was being somewhat restrained by the flight crew and other passengers. Now, look, Tiffany Miles, 36, said, uh, said in an interview, the incident was a total misunderstanding and she wants an apology. Does she? No, I don't think she would. She, yeah, yeah. What person in the right mind would go up in the co cockpit while the pilot was flying the plane? It doesn't make sense. She got up and walked towards the bathroom in the direction of the bullshit. Bullshit. I have anxiety, she said, so sometimes I need a cocktail to cool off and calm down. No, honey, you need prescription medication. You need to talk to someone. I also have anxiety, and I'm terrified of flying. But I, I, I do it a lot. And uh, generally, my go-to is like ginger ale and drama me, and I pass out. See, the, the I, I don't know. Some people are actually not young enough, are too young to remember this shit. Just after 9-11, I know, or just after 9-11... Flying on the fucking planes was this experience because everybody was looking at everybody else. And those of us who were there then to now, still, when we're on a plane, if somebody even looks sideways at the cockpit, we go white knuckle. Yeah. We go fucking white knuckle. I, I honestly still think it's weird that they have a lavatory up near the cockpit that you're allowed to access. Like, I understand them having one for the pilots. I honestly am still a little surprised when I get on a plane and, like, passengers are allowed to use that lavatory. Yeah. I guess it's just they didn't want to retrofit the planes because they're too damn cheap. Yeah. But they don't fuck around when you charge the cockpit. 
They, they take that shit pretty fucking serious. They zip tied her to the chair. They zip tied her to her chair. The flight attendant told me I had to get up out of my chair or she was going to force me to the ground and put zip ties on me. She's, I said, for what? That made me go berserk, she said. Look, just it. Do not fuck around on a plane. No. I'm like, if it's a short flight, they don't serve. Like, I just, I, I do not. It's like these people who take this customer service demand shit with them onto the plane, not realizing it's a whole new world up there. It is quite literally. You're not a, yeah. you're not a customer. Right. The rules don't apply up there, except the rules of the, of the flight attendants. They are in charge. And somewhere there. So, oh, yeah, what? We've created this model because flight attendants serve meals and drinks that we think of them as customer service personnel when they're not. Their real job is to save your dumbass life if something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. The drinks and meals are secondary. Yeah. That's like their while you're not doing anything job. Their real job is saving your dumbass life if the plane goes down. But because they bring us Coke. We've decided they're customer service employees. And they're not. Who in their right mind would go anywhere near the cockpit? What the fuck? Someone that really needed a Jeff Daniels. Like, literally, in my lifetime, with, with, in most of the, hopefully most, yeah, the lifetime of everyone watching this, unless you're a way back folk like some of us, your entire knowledge of that cockpit is nobody goes in there. And it used to be, you'd be, on, be on a fucking flight, people would take their kids up there, and they'd point at the buttons and shit, and be like, all right, Tommy, here, have a pair of wings, and we'll put them on you, there you go. We don't do that anymore. That's not, how can you not, that is, that is the no-no door. No-no door. It is. It sounds like a Garfunkel and Oates song. <laughs> oh, you know, another event. It happened again, because of course this keeps happening. We have to explain this to people quite often. That uh, I, I, I need to do the list. Because somewhere on the top ten, your house is not home base. Would have to go on there. Man accused of leading police on chase that ended at his home in Hialeah. This is Florida. Man's in custody after leading officers on a long pursuit all the way to his house. Miami-Dade police officers said that the, they followed the man's dark-colored SUV from South Miami-Dade all the way to north to Hialeah. Police said the driver parked in front of his house and went inside as SWAT team members arrived at his door. Officers blocked off the neighborhood with police tape and then negotiated with the man. Less than an hour later, the man walked out of the house and surrendered. The reason for the initial pursuit is unclear. The man's identity has not been released. If they're already chasing your ass with the SWAT mobile, yeah, they are. So he really thought, like, well, made it to my driveway. Gonna go inside, watch Judge Duty. Like, they don't get. They're coming in. They don't get tired and leave. No, there are not gonna wait an hour. There are a lot of cops. Some of them don't have anything good to do in the middle of their day, and they would love an opportunity to come down to some place with the fucking SWAT people and play with the shotguns and the fucking shields and shit. And what did you do that they brought out the SWAT team anyway? Like the SWAT team was the one chasing him. Like, what the fuck did you do? You started at an eight, bro. You started <sighs> up at an eight, man. But yeah, like, hide, like, hide and seek rules do not apply. Yeah, so, unless like, you're a grown up. It's like, I'm like, don't no, save, save, look, I'm touching the tree. No. You can't, and, and it, 
you cannot do have you got a warrant because what you've just done is called probable cause. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, if, if you give them a reason to... Yeah, Stone Free says, this police open up. No, you're just going to yell at me. It's sad that that joke never gets old because it keeps applying to everything. I like, I think it's pretty clear that we are not super pro cop on this show. Like, no, no, you should comply. Fuck no. But try not to be a fucking idiot because that's how you get your ass shot. Right? Especially when, if it's the SWAT team chasing your ass. They're already ready to go. That's the not fucking around squad. Uh, you just and, uh, yeah, they don't they they don't respect the home base. I wonder if he was on his well, couch. Have a nice day, fellas. Oh, he was on his couch watching the news of the fucking helicopter going over his own goddamn house. <laughs> Be like, huh? I need to get my shingle guy back out here. Do you see that right there? Yeah, my roof is fucked. <laughs> Do you think you'd recognize your house from a helicopter view? Yes, because I've been up on my roof before. I don't know if I would. I would. Like, I don't know if I was watching the news and they had an aerial view of my house if I would know it was my house. Oh, I, I would. I would probably, yeah. Until, until, like, if they, you know, I have a little statue of Fiona the Hippo in my front garden, maybe if they got that on camera. But I don't think I'd recognize my roof. I'd be like, wow, whoever's in there is fucked. <laughs> well, speaking of whoever's in there is fucked. Oh, no. The audacity of this woman is 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 astonishing. People on the channel are like, Christ, what did the guy do? We don't know yet. They don't know. But we know what this lady did. <sighs> They're bad. Woman driving the wrong way blames oncoming traffic for crash. And that car be completely <sighs> fucked. Parts of that car have been rendered unto dust. Is it that? Yes, or did, fire I was not thinking, did they have to put the fucking thing out of fire? Okaloosa oh, County, Florida. Oh, yeah. Okaloosa County, Florida. There we go. Florida woman has been charged with aggravated battery after deputies say she deliberately drove into oncoming traffic, led to a crash. Both witnesses told the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office that 20-year-old Anissa Jeans, Jines, the Jines, it's a J-I-N-E-S, probably, Gines. and I think it's Anessia. Anessia, sorry, yeah, uh, was I'm guessing, yeah, Anessia Jines, okay, was speeding at her Nissan Sentra. Through Highway 98 at about 1 p.m., Deputy say uh, Giants was driving the wrong way, deliberately swerving to try to collide with oncoming traffic. Eventually, Giants slammed into the, a Toyota. The 71-year-old driver suffered significant but not life-threatening injury. Off-duty deputy said, when he tried to detain Giants, she began to walk away. When he grabbed Giants, she asked, quote, why are you touching me? Gee, ma'am, I don't know. Could it be that half of your car has evaporated? And you've been actively trying to kill people. Yeah, he replied, because you could have killed someone. The deputy said, Jines showed no sympathy. Instead, she blamed the other driver, saying it was, quote, they're bad. Did anybody try splashing holy water on her? <laughs> did we did we try calling a Winchester? Wait, did, I hope you like jail because you have get that's this is cut and dry. Because there yeah, there are a few rules about automobile accidents that hold up no matter they're like hold up no matter what. Like for example, if you hit someone from behind, it's your fault. Your fault always. It doesn't matter the circumstances. If you run into someone from behind, their fault. If you're driving the wrong way on a one-way or, or the wrong lane going the wrong way, automatically your fault. 
You may believe otherwise. Because the roads have directions for a reason. You may hallucinate somehow that you were given permission to do this thing. But you weren't. Like, I'm a little concerned. Like, hopefully they got her a psych screening, because what makes you do this? I, I, she's going Because I'm thinking psychotic break, demonic possession. The, it's just the audacity of going, they're bad. Yeah. Holy crap, lady. You hit a grandmother. Like, what? what? Why are you bothering me? You hit a grandmother. Luckily, she's going to be okay. Sounds a bit. She's going to be okay, but like, Jesus. On purpose. For on the purpose. With your Nissan Sentra. Like, you, you ain't got no car no more. Oh, there are more photos. You're not going to need it. Let's You're not going to need it in prison. Is this guy, we have we have like where did the tire go? Uh, the front tire it has ceased to be. It it has it it went to the mirror dimension. It's <laughs> it's it. It explode. It goodbye. I think. Oh, I think you can see the tire. See that little strip of it's cloth. That, that's the inner tube. That's what I was thinking. That's the inner tube yeah, unraveled. Thinking. It actually exploded. It kablam. Wow. Well, congratulations, Jail. But why? I can't for the life of me figure it out. We well, have one more. This is how my brother this is how my brother would act. You should stay the fuck away from him. <laughs> Are you okay at your, all? Your brother has what we would call issues. Should we call somebody? Do you need help? Do you require assistance? So, uh, last one this week. We got video. If, if you were wondering where the trains were, wonder no longer. Because this one is kind of impressive. Let's get the video going. Very quick. You see that truck there? And now there's not a truck anymore. No one was in it. The driver was not in it. Oh, yeah, I, I did. I did see it. No, I did. No, it's the old one. Sorry, the front one. Did you the right one? Hey. No, no. And we can, we can play that one more time just, just to enjoy it. Oh! Goodbye, truck. No more truck. Truck go be fly. Yes. Yes. I want to back this up, actually. Uh, just pause it. All right. Got to pause it right there. If you look very carefully at the truck, you can see the gate where the railroad is on top of the trailer and stuck. So the yeah. So this dumb motherfucker tried to hop the train in a semi truck with a trailer. Got stuck halfway across. Couldn't get the truck out, so the driver ran away. Uh, let's see. Um. Haverstraw, New York. Shocking video shows the moment a freight train slammed into a tractor trailer Thursday morning. They say the truck, which was carrying supplies to a nearby plant, somehow got stuck on the tracks and somehow is doing a lot of lifting right there. Because, again, you can see that barrier is stuck on... Somehow is working overtime. Somehow needs, somehow needs a break. Somehow needs a vacation. Yeah. Somehow needs to negotiate a raise. We able to take several no, hours. Not getting a raise. Oh, huh. the truck driver. Yeah. Clean up will take several hours. There were no injuries. Thank fucking God. At least the guy had the good goddamn sense to be like, well, this truck isn't going anywhere. I've got to go. 
Yeah, at least he ran, cause... No more truck. Do that again. Let's back it up. Truck. No more truck. Truck. No more truck. Back into the left. Back into the left. <laughs> oh, the shit. operator was still inside on his phone, trying to make arrangements, I guess, to get himself off, did not realize that a train was actually coming northbound. Our sergeant actually alerted him and got him out of the vehicle in time. So, so he wasn't that smart. No, he wasn't that smart, I guess. The, the dumb motherfucker is talking on the phone. With on, sitting on the train tracks. Did you have in elementary school the assembly about the train? No. Because when I my elementary school sat maybe half a mile from where they put brand, brand new train line. Okay. And it was the third. It was the third rail. It was a big deal when the third rail was new. So every single year, we had an assembly about how you don't fuck with the train because some kids had to like cross the train tracks to walk home and technically like our playground if you rolled down the hill there was just a field and then the train <laughs> that <laughs> seems like it, but they didn't that seems like an efficient way to get rid of bad children yeah so every year we had an assembly and the people from the long island railroad would come and explain all the gruesome fucking ways you would die if you even looked at those train tracks wrong so i have a healthy fear of the train Okay, do not, okay, whenever those be, those things start blinking, I don't care if people behind me get pissed off. If I see even a hint of yeah. those lights, I stop. Yep. I, I I like life. I like, I like, li I don't like several tons of steel. You talk to me all fucking day. Yeah, I, I, I don't, yeah, I'll call you fucking light. And out here, I had never seen this until I moved out here. Sometimes that does cost you, because out here... I live in the land of actual freight trains, where I used to live where trains were just for people. So literally, like, Dan and I were stopped once. This train, I shit you not, 10 minutes worth of cars. And I was like, does this train end? Where is this train going? Because my city mouse ass thinks train is taking people to work. And he's no. like, well, no, it's all full of freight. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I think the best one is when the train stops and then starts going backwards for a while. Yeah. And then goes forward again. <laughs> Cause I, 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 there might be a reason for it, but I'm pretty sure the engineers that they're going, Oh, look at that guy. He is so pissed. Look at him. He's turning red. Look at that fucking guy. It's how they entertain themselves on the job. <laughs> I just, no, we got, I have never in a in a regular car. I have never tried to beat the train. No. In a semi, in a fucking semi with a fucking trailer, you're gonna beat the train. And then to just sit there. Ah oh, shit. Listen, the second. What happened? What? Oh, I thought something happened. No, nothing happened. Oh, like the second I am stuck on the tracks, I am the fuck out of that car. The second I have established that I'm stuck on the train tracks, I'm the fuck out of that car. I'm not, I'm not calling anybody until I'm down the block. Yeah. So, learned a few things this week, maybe. Don't <laughs> fuck with the train. Don't fuck with the train. It has no love for you. It's not your it friend. Win. It always wins. Thomas looks friendly. He's a motherfucker. Even when the train he will fucking kill you. Even when the train loses and shit falls off, it still wins because everybody's got to deal with it. The train always wins. Thomas and his little friend Percy will fucking kill you. We've learned that uh, if you're driving the wrong way, it's always your fault, despite any any it's fucking delusions to the contrary. You can't, can't bluff your way out of, out of, no, no, they, 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 they kind of got you. Um, we've learned once again, your house is not home base. It's, it's not, you, 
they 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 can get in there. They're allowed. Don't fuck with the cockpit. Because they're allowed to do things to you in, in the air in the interest of the entire rest of the plane. You're one person. There's like 50 people up there that have to get down without doing it the fast way. And they you you have this much priority compared to everyone. It's it's the needs any rights. It's 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 like it's it's the needs of the many and all that shit. Fucking Vulcan and everything. Yeah. Um we have learned that the Arby's is on DoorDash. You don't have to take your drug cats out to the Arby's. I'm sure you all the fucking curling fries you want, man. It'll cost you an extra three dollars. <laughs> One o'clock on a Friday. Wow. Oh, so who's got enough energy to get up drunk? To drive to the fucking... I never. And finally, we've learned... I board, I board Ash Wendy's yesterday. And I was sober. I was just too tired. Finally, we've learned that um, if, if they get your order wrong, you are not allowed to crash your SUV into the... the uh, that's, not, that's not a law. Um, mm -hmm. It's also not going to prove anything because for, what, $10 worth of biscuits, maybe, your car is dead... It's, it's fucked. It's that is like most front end damage. If you don't have insurance, goodbye. And I haven't had Popeye's biscuits, but I can't imagine they're that good. They're actually not. They're okay. I've had them. They're okay. KFC is better. Red Lobster's the best. People from over overseas are going, what the fuck is he talking? They're like, why, why did the fried chicken shop have cookies? 